Hey YouTube, this is Dan with SC Bushcraft. I want to do a little poison ivy awareness and identification video for you. It's real important that you know how to identify this plant because it will put a hurt on you. I've never gotten into this, but I got into some poison oak when I was a kid, and it was a miserable, miserable experience. And if you're allergic to it, it can actually kill you or hospitalize you. So, real serious stuff. Um, pretty straightforward to identify it. It's got three leaves, would be normally the way people would say it. Actually, they're leaflets. Those three leaflets and then that stem make up one leaf. But you know, it's the old Boy Scout rhyme, leaves of three, let them be. That's good advice. The middle one may or may not have the notches on the side of it. These actually may or may not, but typically there's a little notch on the side of the side two leaves that makes them sort of look like a mitten. You can see it right there, that little notch. That coloration changes throughout the year. It's pretty warm here. This is the summer coloration. Here's a little bit that's still in the spring coloration. That real shiny dark color. Dark, dark green or almost reddish colored. That's what they look like in the spring most places and in the fall. This is the, the summer coloration. This is a bigger plant so I'm going to use this one to do the identification on though. So you got three leaflets on each leaf. And then you've got the little notch, typically. Sometimes it doesn't have that. But typically, you got that notch. The veins on the leaf, also, if you, if you look at them, I'd encourage you to get on a website with lots and lots of pictures of this and its different forms. But the veins on the leaf are fairly uniquely patterned. Also, the leaves are alternate. One, two, Three. See, they're all going in different directions. That one's going that way. That one's going off that way. That one's going off that way. Most vines have opposite leaves, which would mean they come out from the same spot on the vine and they go exactly the opposite direction from each other at a 180 degree angle. Alternate leaf plants kind of go around. If you look at it from the top, it looks like a spiral. These are just little and uh, they, uh, they're really uh, carpeting the ground here. You can see I cleared out some, some blackberry brambles here. Like I said, probably a 20 foot diameter area of these. If you walk through this patch, you didn't know what this stuff was, it would really, really hurt you. It can get on your clothes it's got an oil in it called Urishol, U-R-I-S-H-O-L. It can get on your clothes, it can get on your shoes, it can stay on your clothes or your shoes for up to a year or more. It can get on your pets if your dog went and frolicked through this here and he come and sat on your lap or something like that. Um, it's just really, really nasty stuff. Um, if this gets on your shoes, you need to clean your shoes with alcohol, wearing a pair of rubber gloves, you need to touch them as little as you can, taking them off. If it gets on your clothes, you need to wash them twice in hot water and um, by themselves, not with anything else. And if you can, just throw them away. Uh, you know, if you mow your lawn, you know, if you went and tried to mow this with a lawnmower, weed bucket, or anything like that, you just spew that urishol all over yourself. Best thing to do to get rid of this stuff is get some weed killer. You know, if this is say around your house, get some weed killer and um, kill it. And then take a rake and rake it all up into a pile. Don't let it touch you. Even after it's dead, this stuff can still hurt you. Um, speaking of that urishol, one sure way to identify this plant. You see that little black spot right there? That urishol turns black when it hits oxygen. So you can see that right there. If you take and poke a hole in this stuff with a stick or anything, don't ever touch it with your hands. But if you get some good kitchen gloves, break a piece of this off and, and dab the sap on a piece of paper, then it'll turn it'll turn black like that and that urishol will do that. Poison oak, poison ivy, and poison sumac all share that same common toxin and it all turns black when it hits the air so that's a surefire way to identify this stuff. But anyway look it up, learn about it, make sure that you know the dangers of this plant before you go out in the woods any. Uh, thank you for your time, have a nice day.